Good morning, diggers. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. This is my buddy's house. Uh, I'm going to detect today, but the yard's overgrown, so I'm going to take care of that for him. And I'll get back once I get the yard done and let you see what it looks like, and then uh, I'll go and pound the ground. Okay, we'll get back. Okay, guys, that's what it looks like after I'm done doing the yard. Looks a lot better. Now comes the fun part. Uh, it's about 10.50. So I don't know what time I started, but a little over an hour's worth of work, something like that. But well worth it if I find anything in the long run, because uh, I've searched hundreds of hours and only found one silver, so I'm hoping this pays off. If not, at least this yard looks better. His wife's not doing too well. She's in the hospital, so and it's her birthday today, so he's going to go see her and um, told him to wish her a happy birthday for me and hope everything's going well for them for the holidays and that she gets to come home soon so at least she'll come home to a nice clean yard and I'm going to go park around back because the front's two hour parking and another thing he, uh, he said the house is like a hundred years old and I believe it because the windows have that uh, um, they're not all flat perfectly they're, they're kind of rippled so it's got old glass and um, Anyway, so I'm going to park around back and then I'll take my coil out and do some swing around see if I can find anything. I'll get back. Oh, looks like that paid off, guys. Here's the hole. There's uh, East Branch Avenue, the entrance to Old Arroyo. Cars going by. And there's my first Merc. 1935. Okay, I'll get back when I find something. Guys, this is my second interesting target. Old button. Hey guys, I'm at school to pick up my son from school. Uh, got a little time, so I'd lay out my finds. Um, so you got a belt buckle on the, off of an old car. Uh, some bottle caps. This little weird thingy. Looks like a, the new plastic backs off the toys, but this one's metal. I don't know what it went to. I really thrashed a marble. Um, an old light bulb. Some nails. Um, some aluminum trash. Um, this thing. I don't know what it is. Kind of looks like a dog whistle, but it's threaded on the inside there. Um, six zincolins. Uh, some nails pieces of wire. This is my first square square nail that I got. It's kind of cool. Um, this pin, I don't know if it's old, but it looks like it was gold plated. It's got some pretty neat designs on it. Um, got this button. silver or not. came up pretty clean though. And I'm pretty sure it's old. It has some writing on it, but I can't read it. Got a little picture of it. looks like a lion or something on the top of it. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five uh, pennies. Oldest one being a 62 and a 64. Um, a clad dime, 2002. So 1980. Got a wheat scent. 1944S. Oops. Look at that focus. God, this camera's awful. Oops. And the best find of the day, and my first. Uh, Mercury Dime. It's in pretty good shape. It's a uh, 1935 and can't quite make out the mint. 
it does have it. I think if the, I'm not mistaken, the mint's right there. Almost looks like a W, but I'm not sure. It's in pretty good shape. Anyways, that was probably my funnest hunt ever, and he said I'm welcome to go back there anytime. And I'm probably going to because it, it looks like there's a lot of stuff there. I was in all metal, and then I switched it to coins, and I had to turn my sensitivity down to like two because it was just going crazy when I'd go up above two. I don't know if there was the underground power lines or something in the, but uh, it was fun. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Happy hunting. Happy holidays. Okay, I dorked it. Uh, the mint marks down on the front. I realize it's on the back. Uh, it's a, a D, so Denver. So it's not a plane. Okay, just thought I'd share that because I realized what it was. I just wish this camera did better at focusing because it doesn't do the coin justice. It is pretty cool. Alright, take care. Thanks for watching. Happy hitting.